Hi, everyone. This is Kavya. We, um, hey, Wendy. Hi. Um, we'll wait for a couple of more people to join us. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. All right. So I'm going to begin. Uh, my name is Kavya. And um, I am a maker, an artist, uh, a crafter. I love creating with my hands. So I am a fabric, a fiber artist. And um, so I always end up having a lot of leftover yarn scraps. And uh, it feels so bad to throw those away. So I thought today it would be a great project to do, do something with them. And so we are going to be uh turning our yarn scraps into a basket hello there hello uh so many people joining us welcome welcome all right so i'm gonna start by saying um everything that we are going to be uh using for this project so mrs almed says she's still um, has her sewing machine in a box well maybe this project will uh you know inspire you to take it out and i also want to say you guys as i'm sewing i may miss a couple of your quest questions and comments so bear with me i'll make sure i answer them after the project is done in case i miss it so um i promise i'll answer everybody okay so the things that we are going to need for our project today is we are going to use this embroidery film so this is like a water soluble embroidery film it's very easy to get um you pretty much find it in any sewing shops um so yeah it's super easy to get so we're going to use this guy and you know what uh it also comes in a more like a like a cloth i prefer this because you can see your yarn through this so make sure you get sort of like a transparent water soluble film oh you guys can you not hear me at all or are you guys hearing me i because i have a comment saying that they cannot hear me let me see is this better can you guys hear me better now okay if there's trouble let me know okay so first thing you're going to need water okay perfect thank you um so first thing you're going to need water soluble embroidery film then you are going to need a couple of bowls of different sizes so we are going to use these as molds and then the third thing you're going to need is some mod podge and a brush and then you are also going to need a marker and some little scissors. And I would advise that you guys like have some bobbins handy because this is going to need a lot of bobbins. So I'm going to turn my camera to where my setup is. That way you guys can see it. This is when I might not be able to respond to all the comments, you guys. Just FYI. Okay. Okay. So the first step, what you do is you take like you take like a rectangular, cut it into a rectangular, your embroidery film, and then... You fold it in half so it kind of makes a square like this. Then what you do is you take a big bowl and then trace it out. So it makes a circle. I know it's sort of like invisible through the camera, but I can kind of see it. 
make sure you get like a darker marker for sure. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to sew around it and you're going to leave a gap in the top right there. That's where we are going to be stuffing our yarn in, okay? <clears throat> so I've already done it. So it kind of like looks like this. It's a circle and then there's a gap here. So we'll be stuffing our yarn in, okay? So as far as my machine goes, I am very, very devoted to my Singer Heavy Duty. So um, I have the Singer, I think it is 4423 is the model number. I love this, you guys. I have put like, put her through so much and she's still like... She goes along with it, so I truly like her. And then I am just using like a regular um presser foot on it. You can even use like a freehand embroidery foot if you wanted. It um I just wanted to go with something that everybody would have, so that's why I am using this. Okay, all right. So the next step is take all your like leftover like scrap yarn and start filling your i'm gonna call it a pouch that pouch that you just created with your um with your embroidery film you see it So I have it about like half. I think I can add some more. Okay. Don't fill it up too much because then uh, we'll have trouble like running it through our machine because if it has too much, it's going to get caught in our footer and it's going to tear up our pouch and all that stuff. So don't fill it too much. I, I think I filled it too much too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little bit out. I think this is like a good amount and then I'm going to spread it around. And then the next step is I'm going to press it and I'm going to take off as much of um, air is in there. That, so that way when you're sewing it, it doesn't bubble up and break. Does that make sense? So like really press it flat as much as you can. And then clean this mess over here and I'm gonna pull my sewing machine a little bit closer and I'm going to sew and close off the end I did not realize that I do not have my thread through the needle. So let's first fix that. Give it a good press again so that all the air comes out. 
okay? All right. The next step is, so I'm going to start um, creating, I'm going to start sewing it and I'm going to start creating like sort of like a grid pattern. The idea here is you see all these loose threads, right? We want them all like sewn in and held together. So our stitching needs to be like super close together. That way, like all the fibers are caught. And when we dissolve our film, uh, we are not going to be losing any of the yarn. So um, I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to first start sewing it like horizontally and then, sorry, <laughs> vertically. And then I'm going to do it like horizontally like that. Okay, one more good press and let us start. I mean, you can get like super creative here. It doesn't have to be in a grid pattern like I'm doing it. You can even do like, you can do like, um, uh, you can change it to like a crisscross uh, stitching and then you could do it as a circle. Like whatever stitch is going to like catch the maximum amount of our scrap yarn. That, that That is the goal for it. And so you can get as creative as you want or you can just be super straightforward and just do a, um, a grid like I am doing. Or you could even like if you are going to use like a freehand stitch, you can just go crazy. So do not be afraid, be creative and go for it. Sorry, my thread is on high tension. That is how I like to sew. Um, so it keeps like popping out. We should be fine after this go. And maybe I'll hold on. I'm going to pull my machine a little bit closer so you guys can see. All right. One more try. guys i made a mistake here so i don't know if you can like see it um hold on i'm gonna turn off the light so you see what happened here as i'm sewing it the threads got like kind of pushed to the side and it got bulky here so i needed i should have been more careful with that so as you're sewing make sure your threads are like spread out throughout like if it isn't just like wiggle it and push it so it doesn't get like heavy on one side this will be fine it'll fix itself and i'll be more mindful but when you guys are doing doing it at home like make sure this doesn't happen
All right. So it looks like that now. And then we are going to start sewing like that. I mean, do you see how close it is? It could even be more closer if you want it. The closer, the better, guys. thread So I'm not sure if anybody else is sewing along with me. Um, if you are and if you have any questions or run into any troubles, please like let me know. And here, is that better? Is that better for you to see? Okay, I'm going to leave it like this.
and can you guys see now it's all like sewed through so like now what you do is make sure like it is pretty um tight everywhere make sure there are no like loose ends like all the fat all the fiber the leftover yarn is caught in a stitch you know what i think like right here do you see I think right there, there's a gap for me. So I am going to sew through. So all this gets caught in a stitch. using so i am using like a heavy duty needle i mean there's like so much yarn through it um i would prefer if you use it used a heavy duty needle because it can take a lot of abuse i would say so um yeah so that's it the next step is we are going to be dissolving this uh typically i would just like take it and uh run it to the bathroom and just like run, um run it under the top i do not want to leave you guys alone so i have a, a bowl of water right here and i am going to be dissolving our handiwork in here okay i'm gonna i'm gonna move to, wait actually you know what once it dissolves i'll show it to you like hold on do you guys see it's like already dissolving. It's like a goopy mess. But um, I think it's super cool, you guys. And then, Wendy, thank you. I'm so glad you liked all the colors and textures on it. I'm still like washing and I am looking at you guys. So if you have like any questions, concerns, anything at all, uh, let me know while I dissolve my uh, embroidery cloth or sorry, embroidery filler. Okay, I'm squeezing all the water out. And look. It's all held together really well. None of the yarn came out. It's all good. Yay. All right. So the next step of the process is we are going to be taking a bowl that we are going to use as a mold to uh, mold our cloth. And then, unfortunately, I don't have any saran wrap with me. So I'm going to use uh, some aluminum foil. Um, you can use a saran wrap. I would prefer, I mean, it doesn't stick to the bowl, you guys. So you typically wouldn't need anything. But I would use something over your bowl just because we are going to be like coating it with Mod Podge and it does have chemicals. It just like makes the cleaning much easier. That's why. Okay, so we're going to are wrapping our bowl like here. Okay, completely in aluminum foil. And then we are going to take the fabric that we worked on and lay it on top. And we'll start like pushing it down. Okay. So 
if you let it dry just like this it's going to be fine because um when i like dissolve the film in water i made sure that it's not like super clean i left a little bit of the film so when it hardens it sort of like will give it that um you know it'll give more structure to it but you know it's easter is coming up and if you guys are going to be using it as easter baskets i want it to be a little bit more uh sturdier to hold the eggs so what we're going to do is the next step is we are going to be uh, coating it in mod podge so the mod podge i'm using is like a matte one um yeah i'm sure like most of you are familiar with what a mod podge is but if you're not it comes it, it just gives it's kind of like a glue and it dries super clean and it's going to give our bowl structure uh people use it in a lot of like paper mache and things like that and this product is so cool because um it comes with glitter it comes in a shiny finish so you can get like super Super crazy with it if you want it Ugh. all right and then use a chip brush and then make sure you coat it I know it looks white right now but it will dry clear and you won't see anything very good about how much i've coated it and then i'm gonna i'm not afraid to get dirty you guys so probably you should wear a glove but i like working with my hands so i'm just going to press it glove free all right it's all pressed down and then we are going to set it aside to dry i'm gonna wash my hands real quick So this bowl, it it's going to take a little bit of time to dry because it is wet and it's got that Mod Podge in it. Uh, yeah, I would say like put a fan to it and it'll be dry in the morning. So uh, if you wanted to do multiples of like varying sizes, shapes, whatever, just uh, make it all together, put a fan to it and it'll be ready for you in the morning. I, I had already uh, made a sample of it. I'm going to show you right here our bowl so this one it's a little bit different from the one we worked on uh, so you remember like how we first started we sewed that round pouch instead of my pouch being round i made it into a square and that's why it's got like all these um like edges to it but there you go I have a filter on, so for some reason, this filter I have on is skipping all the yellows. So I do have like a, some pops of yellows in here. So that's it, you guys. Like super simple project. I hope you had fun uh, with it. But if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I'm actually going to see. Okay. No questions yet. But yeah, if you have any questions at all, feel free to like message me. Um, I'll make sure I answer all all of them. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my like uh, fabulous machine I have here. 
Uh, I just love her so much and uh, I am not like a traditional sewer. Someday I would love to be a master seamstress and get into clothing and stuff but I do a lot of like crafts like this like untraditional stuff and she puts up with so much and I just love her so much. So uh, if you what I highly recommend her if you don't have a sewing machine and you're thinking about it uh, you can use my name uh, K-A-V-I-Y-A space R-A-V-I and you can get 10% off discount. I'll make sure like I add it to the um to the heading of this story that will be saving if you wanted to uh see how I made this bowl later. And also, if you guys are making this bowl, make sure you tag me. I would love 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 to see what you guys are up to. So my tag is at k v y a i n c. So thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it and I hope you had fun. Thank you so much Wendy. I really appreciate it. Um bye you guys. Have a wonderful wonderful Friday. Happy Friday. Wait.